Hi there, I'm not at the supermarket today. I'm in my studio at home because I do fitness classes for the peri to postmenopausal woman. So I thought I'd let you know what the best kind of exercise is for that age group. So we're much more at risk of thinning bones and heart disease postmenopausal. And this is to do with the aging process and also to do with the depletion in those uh, estrogen and progesterone. If you are on, even on HRT, you still need to be doing this kind of exercise to help ward against that. The HRT is not the golden bullet. It is a thing that you, helps you, but you should be doing all of these other things as well. So I'm just, this is the exercise element of what I'm talking about. So what kind of exercise should you do? So the thinning of the bones is one of those things that can really um, deplete people's lives. So you wanna be doing something with strength. So anything with weights, so weight bearing exercise like Pilates is perfect. Anything with uh, weights like this, or you could use a resistance band like this. And those sessions need to be nice, short and sweet and uh, easy, do doable by you. And to make sure that we're really strengthening the whole of the joint and putting a little bit of uh, pr pressure on that joint so it helps to load those bones. Now, a little side for that is that actually it can raise up your metabolic rate so it helps you burn more calories when you're stronger you burn more calories so that's a plus isn't it the second thing we're more at risk of is heart disease so we want to be really working our heart what do we do for that cardio based exercise is the way for it cycling walking fast um, aerobic style exercise sessions if you can, dancing, anything that's going to make your heart and sweaty will help your heart to become more resilient and that's what we really want. We want to keep that blood running through those veins because the veins become more restrictive when we um, don't have as much estrogen in our body. So anything that's going to get you hot and sweaty. The third type of exercise is to help your stress management. And one of the easiest things to do is just to go outside and walk in nature and really just enjoy the environment. It can also help with the symptoms of anxiety and depression, this one. It can also help with hip strength, so warding against the balance issues later in life. And also Pilates and yoga is a really good one. I am a Pilates instructor. On a Friday, we do a Pilates class in this studio and I help the ladies to really breathe through the movement, which helps to lower anxiety levels, but also flexibility of the body because we can find that we're really stiff as we live, we work through our life. So there you have it, the three elements of fitness that you want to be looking at. I'll tell you about the duration in the next video. Come and follow me for more information or come for a free trial in my studio.